Hi everyone, today we will be painting these beautiful autumn leaves as we are in autumn right now. It is cloudy, there's a little bit of a chill in the air, the sea is moody and dark and the wind is howling. So you might just hear the wind through the windows here. I'm tracing some of these little leaves that I picked up recently on a wine farm where we normally go and we have some pizza and a small glass of wine and we just enjoy it with the family. So I picked up quite a few of these little acorn leaves and I decided to paint a few so they will be overlapping on the paper and I drew the top two by hand but then I also decided in case you're a beginner and you want to see how you can get it on the paper very quickly you can also trace it. So I just take the leaf and I just put it down on the paper and I softly go around all of the edges just until I get a nice shape. Then I will um, go afterwards and I'll just fix all the little sections that I want to fix. I also want to outline or um, draw in the middle of the little leaf and then I'm just going to rub out all the overlapping leaves so that I don't paint over them. So this is a quick fun study and you can use any color that you have. So don't stress about it. If you don't have the colors that I have, yeah, you can use any brand, any color, as long as it's lovely, warm, autumn colors. This is the yellow ochre that I have from Winsor & Newton. I also used a little bit of Payne's Gray. There are so many that you can use. You can even mix your own brown um, with a little bit of red. Obviously, these little leaves don't have a lot of red in, but I'm going to use the Burnt Sienna the mix just to bring a little bit of warmth in the colors and to mix your own brown you can just use a little bit of red a little bit of yellow and you can create a very very beautiful browns to paint these little acorn leaves the brushes you can use three four five whatever one you want to use i'm going to use one with a nice tip you want to mix your colors so i'm going to use the Okra. It makes a nice color. Until you're happy with it, you might have to mix in a drop more of a yellow too. So I'm gonna go with a nickel as a yellow and just put a drop in here. So we're using tubes today and this is how you will use them if you don't know if you are a beginner you will just squeeze it out obviously try and keep your paint tubes nice and clean and mix a bit of that yellow in there and we are going to wet the paper not sopping wet just wet it okay and while i finish the color mixing i'm looking for my tiny little dotting tool it's so tiny and i normally just pop it in between my pens and my paint brushes so um, i need that so i'm just looking for it quick and here it is it's very tiny this one is from essence and i bought it at a pharmacy so you can buy them anywhere you can buy them at any nail store uh, any um, book <laughs> not bookstore <laughs> maybe dry art store stationery store uh, or scrapbooking store you'll find them there i make sure that i don't go out of the pencil lines so I just move my brush around and make sure that I stay in the pencil lines. Also, I am very careful not to go over the overlapping little leaves because I want the color to be different there. Just take it down to the bottom there for the stem. It's exactly the same color. You might have to adjust the color a little bit. Just add in a little bit of um, paint gray or, you know, whichever color you prefer, even a little bit of sepia. And then I just drop that dark mix everywhere on the leaf. 
and the rain is quite hard right now so you might hear all of the raindrops against the window so I'm going to leave that to dry that section and this is the dotting tool that I have this is for nail art I bought it at a, you can buy it at a pharmacy you can buy it at a, a nail shop you can buy them at a, a scrapbooking shop just don't push too hard this will create an indent in the paper so if you push too hard you might just tear the paper and ruin your painting so just straight lines or little wiggly lines doesn't matter this is just for fun we just playing around relaxing and having fun with our watercolors and our little sketchbook and paint and now i'm going to move on to the second one i think you can use a ballpoint pen with you know that doesn't have any inking that should work as well uh, i've tested it before it works very well if you don't have a dotting tool just make sure there's no ink in because you need something with a, a quite a rounded tip and a ballpoint pen works very well for that as well now i'm going to start with the second one the colors are very similar so just adjust the color a little bit so that it is slightly different to the others again just stay in the pencil lines now another option could be uh, you know if you want to paint quite a few overlapping leaves and even the background you know some type of background with maybe some gouache some black gouache anything will do and you can just play and have fun and mr t is snoring here next to me again i just adjust the color slightly and then drop in a little bit more of that dark mixed with the paints gray or amber or you know use sepia whichever dark color you have that you can mix in there even a little purple will look beautiful but don't overdo it because you still want to keep the colors slightly on the brown yellow side not too again you can do whatever you want you can just change the color and adjust it to whatever color you want and um, you know just have fun so the paper is a little bit wet because obviously I want to keep it wet for this dotting tool that I have so that it can create that indent and darker section in the middle of the leaf that I'm going to push in again I don't push too hard but hard enough to create those little markings and you know try to I try to make the lines straight but a little bit wiggly it's fine I'm not going to worry too much about it this is for fun and just want to soften these little pencil lines with my rubber eraser and now I'm going to paint in so it doesn't matter if you go in and you wet the parts of the other little leaves so if a little bit of the paint flow into the other sides it doesn't matter I do apologize Mr. T is snoring <laughs> and you know it just it doesn't matter because it's all basically the same color so you can adjust it and just move the paint around as long as you can see the difference between the two distinct or the three leaves that's fine um, even a little bit of red uh, like a lizard and crimson or any you know pyrrolene maroon just a drop will also adjust the color slightly so it will just give it a little bit of a different uh, color but it will make it very interesting so just play around you can paint so many different leaves this way and it's a beautiful pattern and so fun this one uh, this color has a bit more of the yellow in so I just want to change the color up a bit and then I can also add in a bit more uh, of a brown at a later stage or even red if I want to um, but let's see how this one turns out Mr. T I am busy my boy oh my gosh okay I can't believe this you are snore so loud I actually have earplugs at night because he sleeps in bed with me um, 
and he snores so loud he's so tiny <laughs> but he snores very loud so again I just drop that dark mix on the tips of the leaves and I just like the way that it turns out it is it looks a little bit different so if you darken the little tips it just makes it look a little bit more older and you can take a whole bunch of different leaves again or more some of the same leaves and just overlap and overlap and cover this whole page of yours full of these leaves I might do it at a later stage but for now for this video I just wanted to add three so that I can you know paint and just you know I do this sometimes just for, to relax and just to take my mind off whatever I'm painting currently just to you know if there's certain days where I feel like I don't have time to paint this is when I will just do a quick fun painting and then I just go over with a very watery mix again just to adjust the color slightly you can leave a few highlighted sections if you want drop uh, some different colors in like I said earlier and just have fun just play around have fun it is spring um, in certain areas now so again just paint flowers or green leaves if you know you have green leaves around you at the moment and that is the little tool that I have the dotting tool uh, eraser some of the brushes and then all of the colors that I used for this painting very very little that you need to finish a painting and have fun so the umber just warms it up a little bit so you use whatever you have don't stress if you don't have the same colors you will need a pencil a rubber eraser some brushes a book use what you have and i will see you soon with a new tutorial have fun